In the last two decades, Oscar Pistorius has been called many things. Paralympic champion, blade runner, superman, but only one name has stuck, murderer. In 2013, Oscar Pistorius shot at his girlfriend on Valentine's Day. Three bullets struck her. Minutes later, she was dead. Pistorius says he mistook her for a burglar. In 2014, the court found him guilty. He spent nearly nine years in prison, and now the Blade Runner is out on parole. It's a case that has captured the world's attention. Millions followed the trial every day. He was a hero for South Africa. Within days, he turned into a national villain. So what is it about celebrity murders that intrigues us all? Our next report tells you. It was the early hours of February 14th. Oscar Pistorius was fast asleep. He was at his Pretoria home with his girlfriend, Reva Steenkamp. But suddenly, Pistorius woke up. While he was closing his balcony door, he heard a noise. It came from the bathroom. Pistorius says he screamed, reached out for his gun and then shot at the door. Only to realise that it was his girlfriend who was inside. Three bullets hit her. Within minutes, she was dead. This was the story Pistorius told the court. But the prosecution had a different story. They say Pistorius and Steenkamp had an argument. It went on till morning. Steenkamp locked herself in. Pistorius shot at her and killed her. And this is the version the court believed. The trial began in March 2014. By September, Pistorius was found guilty. Today, a decade since killing his girlfriend, he's out on parole. But he can do very little. Movement is restricted and alcohol consumption banned. The Pistorius case was the talk of the town when he got sentenced, just like today. So why did it capture global attention? What is it about celebrity murders that transfix us? Well, there are some common elements. The first is a global celebrity and their fall from grace. Pistorius was a famous athlete. When he was 11 months old, his legs were amputated. He used prosthetic legs. And then he beat the odds. He had a successful career on track. First at the Paralympics, where he won multiple medals, and then at the 2012 Olympics, where he ran against able-bodied athletes. People called him the Blade Runner. For South Africa, he was a national hero. So him murdering someone captured everyone's attention. Just like the O.J. Simpson trial. Simpson was an American football hero. He had a solid reputation. And that changed the night he was accused of killing his wife and her friend. The second element is drama. And the Pistorius trial had plenty of it. A sporting hero who overcame everything. A famous girlfriend. Accusations. Crying in the courtroom. Pistorius walking just on his stumps in court. All of that makes for a compelling story. Plus, it was all happening on live TV. It was the first broadcast of a full criminal trial in South Africa. People took time off. Workplaces came to a standstill. Everyone just watched the trial. They were intrigued, like the Gucci murder trial. In 1995, fashion heir Maurizio Gucci was killed by a hitman, one hired by his own wife, Patrizia Reggiani. He wanted to leave her for a younger woman, so Patrizia had him killed. There was fashion, betrayal and a cold-blooded murder, all of which left the public wanting more. And the third element is opinion. When Pistorius went on trial, everyone had an opinion. Good, bad, ugly, nasty, everyone had something to say. Some said he could do no wrong. Others called him a national villain. Many even imagined themselves in his place. Gun violence in South Africa is commonplace and many asked what they would do if they had heard a noise from the bathroom. Plus, it was a simple mystery with just one question. Did Pistorius kill his girlfriend or not? No one knows the real details of that night except Oscar Pistorius. But it's the intrigue that keeps us talking about it even after a decade.